So in this problem, we're told that the equation of a motion of a particle is s, which equals t cubed minus 3t, where s is in meters and t is in seconds. And then we're asked to find the velocity and acceleration as functions of t, find the acceleration after 4 seconds, and then find the acceleration when velocity is 0. So in order to solve this problem, there's two things you should know. That velocity, so velocity is just the first derivative of our function. And then acceleration, which is a of t, is the second derivative of our function. And so the first derivative is we just take the derivative of the function, and then the second derivative is just the derivative of our velocity function, so the derivative of the derivative. And you see what I mean here when we go ahead and solve it. So we're told that s equals t cubed minus 3t. And so our velocity is equal to, our velocity function is equal to the derivative of this. So if we go ahead and solve that, the, we want to find the derivative of t cubed first, which we can use the power rule. So it'll become 3 goes down here, so it'll become 3t, and then we subtract 1 from our 3, which will become 2. So we have 3t squared. And then we want to find the derivative of minus 3t. And so whenever you try and find the derivative of a coefficient times a variable raised to the 1, it's just going to be the variable in front. So this is just going to be minus 3. So our velocity function is just 3t squared minus 3. And then let's say now we want to find our acceleration function. So what we want to do is take the derivative of this now. So let's take the derivative of it. So the derivative of 3t squared, so what we want to do is move the 2 down, multiply it by the 3, so we get 6t, and then subtract 1 from the 2, which becomes 1. I'm not going to write it, though. And then, so now we have 6t, and then if you take the derivative of any constant, it's just going to be 0. We could write plus 0, but I'm not going to. So our acceleration is equal to 6t. Now we want to find the acceleration after 4 seconds. And so in order to do that, all we got to do is just plug in 4 into our acceleration function. So a of 4 is equal to 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24, so the acceleration after 4 seconds is just 24 meters per second squared. And then now we want to find the acceleration when velocity is 0. So in order to do this, what we want to do is just take our velocity function and set it equal to 0. And then we're going to use that time value that we get. And then uh, with that time value, we're just going to plug it into our acceleration function. So if we do 3 to squared minus 3 equals 0, and we want to solve, so let's add 3 to both sides. So we get 3t squared equals 3. If we divide by 3, these are going to cancel. So we'll get t squared equals 1. Then if we square root both sides, we're going to get t is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1, uh, which is just 1. And then the thing you got to realize is time can only be positive in the real world. You can't have negative time. So it's just going to be a positive number. So t is just going to be equal to 1. So now that we have t, all we got to do is just plug it into our acceleration function right here. So a of 1 is equal to 6 times 1, and so which equals 6. So the acceleration when velocity is 0 is just 6. So these are the answers to this problem.